Hey, how's it going? Cash Credo here, and we are back with Starfield. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go ahead and take out the Crimson Fleet Captain. You'll see our objective there at the bottom. Let's do it. So we got to there. To the Crete Research Lab. And before we head in, I do have to heal. And then I do want to kind of check out our surroundings. See what we got. So we have a foam cup, bubble level, cutting pliers. Not sure what we can use it, uh, do with that, but we'll see at some point. I'm hoping it's something like Fallout 4, where you can use the materials and a lot of the stuff for construction and crafting. Sealed container. Got some notebooks. Alright, screwdriver, surgical bowl, tape measure. Got a succulent. Alright, looks like we're not much here. Time to take out some pirates. Bottle. Oops. Can't tell if it looks like a glitch, but. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go ahead and head in. Oh, we found a first aid kit. Heart Plus. Reduce fortitude and pain tolerance. Plus 20% to health for two, min uh, two minutes. Plus 200 damage resistance for two minutes. It might come in handy. Alright, we gotta heal. I have seven med packs. Six now. And our, our wellness skill looks up. Or went up, it looks like. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just, I just woke up this morning. I'm a little uh, little groggy, so if I keep if I'm speaking terribly, that's why. Just, just uh, show you guys now. Ah, um, okay. So I do want to do some searching around, looking at the place, but we're gonna. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we're gonna look for some battle to engage in before we search, is what I was gonna say before Vasco started talking. Red Rover, come over. Value is 90. I'll go ahead and take that. Read up on it later. I did flip through it, so if you guys wanted to read it, you could always pause the video. And I think I'll continue doing that too. I'll probably read the books in my own time. Alright. There's a door. No? Alright. Let's head upstairs. Turn off my flashlight. Soil box. Right now, I'm just looking for anything useful that I can use in fight. On the way. There's a body there. Gonna have to check out that body. We have a scientist. Looks like he's been dead for a while. He has a notebook. He 
has heart plus and chunks egg packaged an egg flavored chunks food cube sealed for freshness looks appetizing I'm being sarcastic of course but if you couldn't tell history of xenobiology Well, I'm I do want to check my inventory space. See, where is it at? Mm-hmm. All right, so mass is currently at 66 out of 135. We just picked up our first credits, so we have 158 currently. All right, then. Anything good? It doesn't look like there's very many, very much gear to use here. Oh, here we go. We got some pirates. Oh, we got some med kits. Another heart plus. We got amp. A steroid based performance enhancer designed to temporarily boost leg strength. So, plus 35% movement speed for two minutes. Two times the jump height for two minutes. Very nice. Wait, what was that? Oh, we got some full food spiced worms. Sounds delicious. Alright, so, oops. Start off with the pistol here. Oh, nice, you can lean it. Lean, that's. I didn't know that was the thing. I didn't notice that in our first little battle. Yeah, the combat is really nice. I'm enjoying it. It really improved on it. And I, and I already liked the combat in Fallout 4. And obviously, a lot of people seem to complain about combat in Skyrim and Oblivion. But I actually really enjoyed the combat there too for a first person open world game. I mean, it's pretty solid. Especially in Skyrim and Fallout 4. I would say Starfield has some of the best combat in any Bethesda game. I'm just getting started too, so I'm excited to see what they add into it and if anything changes. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some Dragonborn-esque abilities at some point. So here we have some sparkling water. Actions use minus 20%. O2 for 3 minutes. Very cool. Alright. I want to continue the battle. Search his bodies. Just another med pack and a rescue axe. Value is really nice on the rescue axe 650. So we're gonna take it. And then we got Rattler. That's pretty sweet, man. I like that. I like that wooden handle there. 27 caliber. Got, uh, we got leather pocket wear. Looks nice as well. Not too big on the color scheme. We'll take that. Value is great on the rifles too. Okay, we're gonna do some minimal, minimal searching. Kind of scan the surroundings before moving on. Found some milk next to the toilet. That's always that's nice. Got the Pickwick papers. I'm gonna take this toilet milk. 
see what I can do with it. Maybe we'll give it a sip later. Alright, so I did get a little little hurt in that last encounter. I'm not going to use the med pack yet because I do feel like that might be kind of a waste. Check out that Rattler real quick. See how it compares to our Eon. Alright, so the Rattler has more rounds and a higher accuracy. But does the same amount of damage and weighs a little more. So 64 rounds. Let's check it out. I do like the sights a little better on that one. Yeah, so I think we're gonna let's see. We're going to use the Rattler. All right. It's a nice find. Found some vacuum tape. Oh. That doesn't sound good. The terror morph is loose. And Eggman, the desk assistant. Some solid value on that. Anything good here? Hello. Our first computer. Let's try the new beginnings. And like I said, just go ahead and pause and read that if you'd like to. I'll probably even go back later <laughs> and read read up on that. I found some ammo, tasteless shotgun. All right, looks like we could find some good stuff here. We found a star locked board game bed that we can interact with. Dumbbell, pretty heavy. Ten pounds or ten mass. Oh, looks like we might have. Okay, I thought we might have crashed there. It was just auto saving though. Yeah, we're not gonna pick that up. It's not really worth it. Too heavy. We're only a hundred five, hundred and five value. Locker. Check these out. Found the UC Battle Mill multi pack. Great value, and then it restores 20 health plus 8 carry capacity for 8 minutes. A wire spool. That'll come in handy, I'd imagine. Anything good here? Got another desk assistant. Deck of cards. Alright. Let's go check it to him, and then we'll come back. Oh, what is this? Safe, but we don't have any digi picks. There's one. All right, let's go ahead and save real quick. I don't know what this is gonna look like. I want to make sure I understand it. So fill in all the empty slots and every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it open until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Okay, so fill in all open slots in every layer. Oh, uh, okay, I see. I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think I see, actually. Oh, okay, okay. I think I, think I, think I got it. Maybe. So we got that one. There we go. Now we're getting it. Hmm. Nice. Kind of a kind of a cool little system. We got credits. Seven hundred and twelve, is that how many there are there? Or just one? Okay, seven hundred and twelve credits. Very nice. That was a cool little lock picking mini game. And then we found a Solid, Solid Frontiers game. Unrelated, but also related. A bunch of food, eggs, rocking water, and lettuce. Right. What is that? Humidifier. We're finding some good uh, value items in here. With with uh, minimal mass. Means we can carry more, but make some cash. Like we have somebody standing over there. Hard to tell, but it does look that way. What's that? Desktop digiframe. And we'll come back here. Let's keep moving. Nice, so we have frag grenades and a fragmentation mine. Let's take a peek and see what we can see out here. So we have two guys here. And I saw a flashlight moving around on the wall there, so there's maybe a third somewhere else. But this is a prime position for a... Let's see. For our... For grenades. There we go. I'm gonna favorite both of those. Next to the melee weapons. I don't know how to throw these. Okay, yeah, I know how to throw them. <laughs> so nice, we leveled up for the first time. I thought there was going to be more guys here. And there was a bit of a lag too when that grenade went off. Uh, a small stutter. Found a hazmat suit. Plus 5 health and O2. Not really. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. I don't know if there's any other benefits to it, and that's one reason why I am taking it, because I would like to see if there are. That's pretty sweet too. Planetary system sculpture. Nothing there. And we found their helmets. Oh, and then we did find, we did take a some gear off of the other one of the other bodies too. I would like to compare it to what I have on. So a Grendel. That's a nice looking firearm right there. Somebody's coming. Where are they? I think they... There they are. Just admiring Bosco. And looking to see how he... handles combat. In combat. There, there we go. Why? 
I'm surprised these guys didn't come out whenever I threw the grenade. I didn't even hear them talking or anything. They barely... Well, they didn't acknowledge it. Alright, let's go ahead and wipe these guys out up top. Let's try, try out that axe. Oh. Alright. Now let's use the time for our rifle. You know what? Let's try out that. Let's check out that Grendel. So we got the Maelstrom. Then we got the Grendel. Less damage. Higher fire rate, a little heavier. Has a bigger magazine. Higher accuracy, just a little bit. Sounds like the Maelstrom is the way to go. Alright. Hmm, we're... Must have retreated into that room there. Go. You appear to be prioritizing our deaths over your own survival. There's no cover anywhere. There's a tree there. Peace is no longer a viable option. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal real quick. Have a good battle coming up. I like the uh, the banter by Vasco. Dude's pretty sassy. Or an inorganic. Or, you know, robot, whatever. Nice. I thought that was going to be more intense. So we got a cube. Pack. Got some more food. All right, let's find these bodies. That looks like a mess there. And some more lead. Somebody else. All right, just a second, guys. Just checking something out real quick. Performance-wise, so I've noticed uh, some stuttering in the combat encounters. Which I didn't notice that last time that we played, so. Is that? So we got a molecule extractor. Good amount of cash. Or value, I should say. Frenzy Ripshank. What is that? So, Space Adept plus 30% damage while in space and minus 15% damage while on a planet. Interesting. Rapid, so plus 25% increase in attack speed. Frenzy, small chance to frenzy a target. Nice. Okay. Got elbow grease gear. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's in here. 
so we don't have any digi picks. Let's see if we can find another one. Sure we can, somewhere in here. I just want to scan these guys, if possible. Okay, this is him like you can. Found a toxin. Common organic resource can be used in crafting. Another molecule extractor. What's that? Oh, okay, this is in water, or some kind of substance. I was wondering where that sound was coming from. Alright, got a kidney dish. File. 55 value. 0.110 mass. Pretty nice. Those are some good numbers. Another scientist here. Distilled water. Restores three health. Actions you use minus 20%. O2 for a certain amount of time. Bring it here. I was just looking at the diagram on the wall there. Alright, I'm interested in finding another digipick so I can get through that door there. That's that's what I'm looking for right now. Has to be one laying around somewhere. Some more toxin, it looks like. We have a storage box. We've got a metabolic agent. Used for crafting. And a fire extinguisher. 1.60 mass, value 105. Sounds good to me. Okay. Food. Okay, I thought there might be a book underneath that. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. I'm sure we're getting close to our... Looks like we are over encumbered. Yeah, okay, picking up all that nonsense. Didn't do us any good. Let's see if we can sort by weight. So we have this. We're at 240. 65. That's not really worth it. We'll go ahead and drop that. Check out some of the gear we got. Not sure we really need that. I just, or this, even. See, so we are currently wearing the utility outfit, which gives us great protection. 15 physical, 15, or 5 energy, and then 15 EM, whatever that is. And tractor suits. Pretty nice. Hazmat suit seems pretty unnecessary. Protects us against corrosive, airborne, and radiation, though. That's worth keeping, I would say. And then we've got leather pocket wear. So 10 energy, 20 EM. Okay, nothing really. We've got a helmet, too. Less physical protection if I use this. 22 energy. 20 resistance to corrosive. I'm guessing that's resistance to. Oh, well, the value in that is insane. 1515 and 1860. Then we did pick up a 
raiding pack, or just a pack. So this... Basic boost pack, that's cool. And so physical only goes down two. Doesn't have any resistance. I'm guessing that's resistance. Resistance to corrosive. Uh, this is plus, this is 10 airborne. Whatever that is. It does seem like it might be the the better one to get, the better uh, pack to use because of the boost pack. I'd say the, the positives outweigh the negatives. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. So you ran out of O2. Why? Is it because I'm over encumbered still? So we're gonna give some stuff to Vasco. Captain, allow me to assist you with carrying your items. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. Okay, maybe the pack has, has something to do with that. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Alright, inventory. Give him the suits. Or the... I guess it's apparel. We'll give him the helmets as well. And a lot of the miscellaneous. Okay. Notes. We'll keep a hold on to those for a bit. And weapons. That, that's what we should have them hold. I didn't realize we had four of these. Yeah, that's, that's quite a, that's a lot of weight. We have six Randalls. That'll take us down. We have four axes. Two rip shanks. All we need is the one maelstrom, rattler, and axe. Should be good. There we go. Thanks, Fosco. So we're gonna keep an eye out for a digipack. Kinda look through here. Give it a cursory look. Okay, we found two digipicks and an immobilizer, whatever that is. I should open the transfer to see what the what that was. Uh, what, oh, immobilizer. Treats dislocated limb, fractured limb, fractured skull, sprain, and torn muscle. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, we did level up. I should check that out. I've already forgotten about that. So you receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks the challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. Top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. Okay, so we have one skill point. So combat. Let's take a look. Let's check out social. Because we did do commerce. So buy for 5% less and sell for 10% more. A challenge progress, buy or sell 25 unique items. Gastronomy, you can craft specialty food and drinks and research additional recipes at research lab. 10% increased chance of success when persuading someone. Ah, uh, okay. So, that's kind of kind of cool. So, it's similar to Skyrim, you just have to do stuff in order to get better at it. I do like that. So I have to succeed in three speech challenges in order to make that up to two. Very cool. And then scavenging. There's a chance to find extra credits when searching containers. Theft. Unlock the ability to pickpocket targets. Alright, check out science. 
So grab jump range. Get more common and uncommon and organic resources from surface objects. That one's probably a good one to invest in, honestly. The medicine. Everything just does a little better as far as med packs, trauma packs, emergency kits go. That's a nice one too, research methods. We'll have to pick that one up around the time we start crafting. If we start crafting. Okay, let's check out tech. You now utilize boost packs. Okay, I didn't know I didn't know that you needed training for that one. But I'm not really entirely sure that I really want to spend my first skill point on that. Oh, that's interesting. So it seems like there's more to piloting. So like, right, if I unlock this, I can utilize ship thrusters. Very cool. And hacking. And then we can target control systems if we unlock this one. All right, so let's check out physical and then we'll check out combat more thoroughly. So we have wellness. So we, we have first level and we've unlocked the second rank and we can go ahead and do that increase maximum health by 20 increase carrying capacity as stealth meter fitness 10% more oxygen available and under attacks do 25% more damage and then less O2 is used when using a power attack alright check out combat I like that one. Take 10% less damage while wielding a melee weapon. Hmm. It's kind of a tough choice. I'm not really... None of them really stood out to me. Immediately. Like, usually, like, I see one, I'm like, oh, that's... That's what I want to do. But it hasn't happened so far. Uh, I do like the idea of getting a pistol certification. Or getting ballistics. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me guys. Yeah, I do feel like ballistics would be seems a little more overarching, like it covers several you know, it would cover the I'd imagine anyways, the rifle and the pistol. So I, I think I might go ballistics. Or I do like geology too. More common and uncommon and organic resources. Check out social. I want to see. I want to look ahead a little bit and see. Hmm. Okay. So you can negotiate if you unlock second tier and intimidate as well. Diplomacy. Deception. Hmm. I think I might get a skill in social because I'm interested in diplomacy, intimidation, negotiation, and deception, and then even further down, like outpost management, leadership, instigation. See, that's pretty sweet. When combat is required, it can be advantageous to convince others to do the fighting for you. And so we're already pretty heavily social based. So let's see. Scavenging is might be good. Extra money is always nice. Astronomy might be worthwhile, but I don't know how important food is in the game yet, so we're gonna go for go for scavenging for our first unlock. Alright. Save real quick. I do like that level up system. Seems as rewarding. I found some thread stick. Just gonna flip through these real quick. Feel free to pause it, so you can check them out. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. I do have a disregard for personal property rights. Other people's personal property rights. 
In game, anyways. What was that? Heat leech. I'm gonna scan that one. Oh, it doesn't look like I can. Hmm. It's a shame. Alright, so we have three digi picks, so once we unlock this, we'll go check out. What is that? Okay, cartridge. Check out that door we kind of unlocked earlier. Emergency slate. Sorry guys, sorry for all the noise, I was taking a drink of water, and I <laughs> ended up knocking stuff off my desk. So it sounds like these, all these scientists are dead because of some kind of terror morph. So I'm imagining we're going to be running into some alien type creature. And by alien type I mean like the movie Alien. <clears throat> okay, so we have four slots open. That one works, and it looks like this one would work. Cool. So we got a disassembler solstice. Plus 20% damage against robots. So it's a rare laser pistol. I love the look of the weapons in this game, so cool. Found a iso-centered magnet. Sword of Damocles. <laughs> okay. Check out that book for a second. Alright, before we head up. I have a feeling things are about to get pretty intense. I gotta deal with the Terror Morph. Bring out all Reliable on Maelstrom. I'm gonna heal up since we do have plenty of med packs. You know what? Actually, before we before we go up, let's go check out that door. Since we have more digi packs now, maybe we have something something valuable and worthwhile in there. Let's see, I think it's that door right here. Testing zero one. Okay. okay, nothing. There we go. This is another computer. Hayden Wins Project Terminal. So that was a scientist we heard on the recording. Got a couple more grenades and a mine. I'm glad we came through here. And another safe, too. So if we're going to be fighting some kind of crazy creature, those mines might come in handy. Check out the terminal. War. Phase 2. Stalkers. And heat leeches. I'm going to read this one for a second. They're attracted to heat. Feed off it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches. That is. Okay. Hmm. Interesting little creatures. 
So cool, we found... We have three frag grenades and two mines. I would say we're pretty prepared. We're, 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 at, we're at full health right now. Another amp. Oh, and a science crate. So an auto medic deep mining spacesuit. Automatically use a med pack when hit and health is below 25%. Once every 60 seconds. That's awesome. And that is an epic, epic gear according to the, the variety thing up top. So adaptive frame. We're upgrading our scavenging. Toxin. Eight toxin, wow. Okay. Some sealant. The mining spacesuit, I think that's what we already have. I mean it looks exactly like it. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that. Automatic, really nice. But even the minus fifteen percent incoming energy damage. And then while we're before we head into the room. While I am programmed for combat, it is not my primary function. Let's go ahead and I give him there are other suits. Trade. Maybe a few other things too. Now we're just gonna give him the suits. Alright. Barracks would say, but the more practical without your invest. There we go. It looks like we might have a You got to be kidding me. There we go. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? What's your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Hmm. I do want to take them on. I don't want to just lie to them and have them disappear. But I kind of like the idea of trying to trick them. I, I want to say this because I want to see what they say back. Like I'm, they did say they were interested in the ship, so he might not even care that Barrett's dead. So let's give him give it a shot. So that's right, I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Yeah, I see. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, <laughs> dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. See that container behind him? I'm gonna hit it. Time to make the settled systems a safer place. Open fire! Alright, go for the container, go! Got one of them. Took their captain out. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. All right, so we have some more pirates. We are no longer alone. Okay. So we're not going to waste our ammo shooting from this far, we're going to get up close. I want to see if we can get in their ship, once it takes off again.
Looks like that guy fell. Yeah, I wasted a ton of ammo right there. <laughs> See if we can just take a uh, single shots. I was hoping the slow burst from the from the rifle will do, but. Shooting at. Okay, there he is. Hey, okay, while he's finishing the the last guy off, we'll go ahead and search these bodies. Check out Brogan. So he has an extended mag coachman. It's beautiful. Love the detail. Another Grendel. Drink packs. We found some red wine. <laughs> That's nice. Plus 10% persuasion, persuasion chance for 3 minutes. And a ton of credits. Some extra shells. So it looks like we're going to be able to check their ship. I wonder if we can keep their ship somehow. down there. It probably wasn't the path he took. I don't know. Where did, how did he get down there? Bosco. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. All of a sudden he just reappeared over here. Interesting. Just look around. Aw, oh, man. I wasted too much time. That's why I probably would have... I imagine they probably have it set to... Where it takes off as you approach it. It's a missed opportunity. I wonder if because they if they because they got away if that will affect the game in the future. We did take out Brogan, but I wonder if they're going to cause issues again because they got away. It doesn't look like there's much going on here. If I could have jumped off the this building here, it would have been fine because of the low gravity. I was curious about that. Maybe we'll attempt it here. In the name of science. Take one for the team. Oh, weapon case. Ah, just a Grendel. All right. So I guess we can just give it a test run. We'll jump off this little staircase here. You should avoid falls from that height unless you are properly equipped with a jetpack. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we do have a jetpack on, but we don't have boost pack training. So it turns out that would have come in handy had we gotten that skill. Go ahead. thought maybe we could slide through there. Go ahead and jump over this. Slide our way down. So I can search those bodies. Okay. You know, and I did say, <laughs> yeah, while we were looking for, for Brogan, that I wasn't going to do too much searching inside. But I mean, I, I 
seriously scan like the entire interior. So there's not too much more exploring to do in there. Hey, there's a guy there. What are you doing? Come here, boy. Oops. <laughs> Press the wrong button there. My bad. Heaps really wants me to fast travel to the to the ship there. Modified maelstrom. So I guess the modification is because it's semi-automatic. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary. I think there should be a body or two over here. Maybe not. We found some lead. I don't think we've scanned the lead. Okay, I guess we have. We're still looking for... Water, Argon, Alconis, and Neon. Okay. But for now, we're going to keep things rolling. I'll come back at some other time. Try the fast travel. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Right. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. So we're heading to New Atlantis. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Uh, we made our way through the Crete Research Lab, took out the Crimson Fleet Captain Brogan. Had a good time doing it. Uh, got a better taste of the combat. Found out there's a good, pretty good cover system, which is very nice. I wasn't expecting that. I was hoping for it, but just I wasn't expecting it. And so in the next video, we'll go ahead and head to meet up with the Constellation members, head to New Atlantis. And I'm sure that's when the game will open up, and then we'll see what we what goes on from there and where we'll go from there. So this is Chaos Credo. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.